Hello and welcome everybody, Marcus Small here from thesmallman.com. What I'm going to show you today is how to create a directory inside of VBA, so create a folder with VBA. I'll take you through how to create a simple directory, so we'll just hard code the directory inside VBA, then we'll create a directory from a group of cells, and then I'll show you what you can do if that directory has already been created. Yeah? All right, let's get right into it. So we'll press Alt F11. Now we're in the back end of Excel and we'll create a sub. And the sub can be, oh, SUB, and we'll just say make folder. All right, nice one. Okay, so there's a very cool little function called MK, I'm sure that's short for make, and then DIR. Yeah, so this is the directory that we're going to make and it's asked us for a path and that's going to be a string So that needs to be in quotation marks. Yeah, so what I usually do here is I go to the directory that needs to be created So what I will go into Windows Explorer Yeah, and then I've got a file called C my files. So it's on the C drive and it's called my files. Now I never trust myself to get the path correct so I always copy it from here because C my files is quite a simple file name or file path name but they can get quite complex as you well know. So we copy that and then we go back into Excel and then I paste that in there. Yeah. So we paste it and then we close our brackets. Now you have to make sure you've got a quotation mark here and a quotation mark here. Now that's the first part of the equation. Next we have to give the file, the folder that we want to create a name. So we say close backslash and then I might just call it January. Okay. All right. So we're going to create a folder inside of the my files directory called January. And you can see inside here there's nothing. And then we'll go through and we'll press F8 to run through the code. F8, F8, and F8. Now the folder should be created. So let's have a look at the directory. And there it is. It's been created. All right. Okay, so that's quite simply how you create a directory when it's hard coded in the back end. Yeah. Now let's have a look at this scenario. So let's say we've got four folders in here called July, and then let's say it iterates for another four months. Yeah. So July, August, September, October, November, and we want to create all of those directories from one to five yeah so i'll go back into the vba editor so alt f11 i might just leave that one there and we'll create a new one so copy everything and we'll say create make folder one yeah this name needs to be different yeah you can't just run procedures with exactly the same names so what i'll need to do is i'll just tab down a bit is I have to create a variable. So I'll say dim i as an integer, and i is just going to be my counter. So I'm going to count, there's five cells, so I'm going to say i is equal to one to five. And the way that I do that is I create a for statement. So I say for i is equal to one to five. Next. Oh, now that is my looping construct. Now this space in between here, you own this space. So this space is where you make magic happen. Yeah. So what we want to do in this little area is we want to make a directory here. So we'll, we'll bring this here, copy cut up to here. So we want to make a directory that's equal to C my files. That's where we want it to go. We close the quotation mark and then oh I went one too far and then we say ampersand and then we'll pick our range and the range has got to iterate from row one to row five so it says range open bracket open quotation mark what column is it in it's in column a close quotation mark another ampersand and then I for integer yeah so it's basically saying in the first instance, can we have row one? Then when it goes through the first loop, it's row two, row three, row four, and row five. All right, let's go through and I'll 
I'll click on the folder to see if it's working as expected intermittently. So we'll press F8 to kick the procedure off and F8. Now our first iteration, see how I is equal to zero, but if I go over here, it's now equal to one because this is the first iteration of our loop. We've told it that I is going to equal one, then two, then three, then four, then five. All right, we press F8. Right, one has been made. Two has been made. Or well, have they been made? Let's go and check. So we open the folder. There's August, there's July. Nice, okay. So that seems to be going quite nicely. So we'll press F8, three, four, and five. All right, so we'll go and have a look at the folders. We've got the original January. We've got August, July, November, October, and September. All right, so that's actually all that we asked it to create, plus the folder for January that we created earlier. All right, now look what happens when we go to run this procedure again. So we press F8 and we're off racing in the cup again. F8, now we get to the executable line. We press F8 and it bugs out. You go, oh dear, the folder's already been created. It bugs out because it's already there. This folder would be the one for July. So in our file, we've got information in July, yeah? So what, we've, what we can do is we can create a new procedure. So let's create a whole new procedure, copy, paste. And this time, what I might do is make it a little bit further up the screen. This time, what we want to do is change the name to two, yeah? All right, so we'll keep i as an integer, but I need two strings. So the first string, yeah, so I'm going to dim str as a string, and then I'm going to dim fol, short for folder, as a string, yeah? All right, good stuff. Okay, so we, our loop looks fine, yeah? Now, what we'll do is we'll say that rather than mkr is equal to that, the folder, folder, we'll have that equal to our str, yeah? Or I could call it path. I'll look, I've, it's done now, so it's, it's my string, which is the, the file folder that I want to check on, yeah? Now, at the end here, what I have to do is I have to say and, and I need to add a backslash, yeah? All right. So that's basically checking for a path with a backslash at the end. And then we go FOL is equal to, and I want to reference the DIR, the directory. So I type DIR and then I open a bracket and the directory that I want to reference is right here, STR, STR. Yeah, and then I type a comma and I have to have a look for what I'm looking for and, then, and like IntelliSense has helped me out here. So I need the VBD directory. So there it is there, the VB directory. So I close the bracket, all right, good stuff. And then what that will do is if it doesn't find the folder, it will produce this. So FOL will be uh, effectively equal to nothing. If it does find the folder, it will be equal to that. So it's really just a Boolean equation, yeah? So I just have to test for this, yeah? So I can then create an if statement. And the if statement goes, if, if FOL is equal to the nothing that we expect, if it's, um, if it, doesn't find the folder. So if it doesn't find the folder, what we want it to do is to make the folder. So we use the same reference that we used up here. So it's mkdir, and this time we've got a little shortcut for it. So make directory str. All right, good stuff. So what, oh, I've made a, I've made a, Oh, I forgot the end. If FOL is equal to nothing, then... Right, good stuff. And then it capitalises everything after that point. All right, good stuff. So what we might do is we might Alt F11 to go back into Excel, and I might change this first one to, say, December. Yeah, we'll change that to December. So it should create December, 
And these guys here, no deal. It shouldn't create secondary folders, or it won't bug out, yeah? So Alt F11 to get back into the VBA editor, and then we'll press F8. Oh, well, that just looks like I've forgotten to put my equal sign, so I haven't said the string is equal to that range. So that solves the problem really swiftly. So we'll press F8 and carry on. So basically, we've, what, we've got a string that goes from one to five. So it checks the first iteration, and then we'll have a look. It looks like that the folder, I might just open the locals window. So we'll go view locals window. And you can see that the FOL is equal to nothing in there. So if folder is equal to nothing, then make the folder. Yeah, so make the folder called December D or DEC. So we press F8. Now the other three don't exist. So it should go from here to here. Yeah, one, two, three, and then there's a fourth actually. Yep. Excellent. So if we check the folder, December's in there. Everything else that we've been testing is in there as well. All right. So that's basically how we test if a folder exists. So from the very simple to the a little bit more complex to a lot more complex where you're testing whether the folder exists. All right, everyone. That's how you create a folder in VBA. All right, have a great day. Take care.